Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a how to play and playthrough of Holotype Mesozoic Europe, which is an expansion for the base game you see behind me, Holotype Mesozoic North America. You will need to use components out of the base game and the new cards and components in the expansion. Mm -hmm. So this is by Brexworks Games. This is a prototype, so some pieces that you're about to see may look a little different in the final production. Uh, keep in mind that we were not compensated for this. We are happy to help out small publishers, yep. so any subscribes and likes you give us is appreciated. Keep in mind this is for two to five players. It takes about 20 minutes per player. It's for ages 14 and up, but that's for regulation purposes. You can play with younger people. So if you haven't seen our how to play and play through and review of the base game, it's the same game except it's taking place in Europe and there are going to be some minor uh, or some new changes that we'll show you here in a moment, but you're still paleontologists trying to publish holotypes, trying to score the most points. And what's a holotype? Well, a holotype is a paper about a new species of dinosaurs that you discover through finding fossils. And what's Mesozoic? And for those of you who don't remember from school, I have to look it up. I forget the dates. It's 66, 252 million years ago. The purple fossils are more rare than the green fossils. So you're going to find more Cretaceous fossils than Triassic. So that's the period that we're talking about here, the Mesozoic era. And we have these three periods. So first we're going to go over what do you use from the base game, and then we're going to go over what's different in the expansion. So in the base game we still have the, the main board here, and we're on the two-player side. We have the advancement track, that's the same, and this is the two-player side. The game will end when we publish 18 papers between the two of us. We have our department laboratory boards here. We have six milestones. There are two new ones you'll see in a moment. We still have our paleontologist, our field assistant, and our graduate assistant ready to come out when we publish three holotypes. We still have the three types of fossils. We put three of the Cretaceous, two Jurassic, and one Triassic, Triassic. in the museum. We have a deck of specimen cards. Okay, so that's, that's, oh, you still have your research cubes. Right. Okay, so what's new? Well, you're going to play with the European version of the specimen deck, so you're not going to play with the North American version. Okay, so that deck is not used. You're going to play with the European version of the field expedition, trace fossils, and cer certain cards are shown here because i got to go over those. The personal objective deck for the European and the global objective. And then you have focus boards. And this is the, the main new thing. Now this can be used with the base game. These ah. cards, you, in other words, if you want to play with North America, mm -hmm. you use you know, the cards that come with oh, North America, right, right. which I have off to the side here. You can see how many cards. <laughs> so in other words, it's like, here's your deck yeah. okay, for North America. And then you have your deck here, your decks here for Europe. Europe, you can use the focus boards with North America or Europe. So okay. this can exchange in between that. Nice. Now there's a variant now, a first player token. So this is something new, where you get an equal number of turns. In the original game, as soon as the 18th, if you're playing with a two-player game, holotype is published. The game ends immediately. You don't play an equal number of turns. We are playing an equal number of turns, and Julie's going to be the first player token. Yay! Uh, the specimen deck is there's nothing really new in there except different animals. However, you see here, you have a global objective, a two, three player mini deck version, and all cards here have the symbol on for Europe. So if things get mixed up, you can separate them. So you're still going to take, for in a two player game, you're going to take two plus one, three of these cards. Mm. Now, because we're playing with this version, the game will not end when two of these are completed. In the base game, when two of these are completed, the game ends. But because these are easier to finish, you don't play uh, that ending condition. So the game's only going to end now, since we're playing with these the two to three player global objective cards, when we publish 18 holotypes. So we're going to flip up three. And what we use to keep track of things, which, nice. <laughs> which doesn't come with the game, are ten-sided dice, which I'll explain so in a helpful. minute. So if you want to see each one, three Cretaceous, 
theropods, three, two Cretaceous dinosaurs, and three Cretaceous sauropods. And you see how there's less to do than you would normally see in the regular deck. Here's the other global objective. See, one egg is trace fossil. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's different. We haven't seen that card yet. No, we haven't. And then one, uh, two amber trace fossils. Well, that's a new one, too. Oh, okay. So you may wonder, what's a two amber? Yeah. Well, now trace fossils can require more fossils to get out because it's worth more points. So in the base game, these would all be ones. Now there are cards that have twos because it's worth more points. So that's, that's what that means. You need to publish one of these that has a two on it. There might be some ones in the deck. So I hear some corpolite. That's a two as well. Mm. So that's different in the trace fossil deck is that you have some cards where it takes two additional fossils to get that out when you get a... That global objective. When you publish a, a, a hollow type. Yeah. So what we do now, to keep track of things, now this is not in the rules, this is what we do to help us. <laughs> uh, we mark down, we're gonna need, as soon as we start publishing stuff, we're gonna keep track. Well, if it's a one, we don't need to worry about that. So we need another, we don't have another yellow or an orange. Oh, so we like geez. to, we, we, we yeah, like to color match. Yeah. So, so we use the dice to keep track of what you can see. What's going on. Right. Because that way you don't have to keep on asking yourself, how many do you have? How many do you have? All right. So the trace fossil deck is here. I already showed you that. There are some, a, a new addition to the game is there are some trace fossils that take two additional fossils to get out. Okay, what's different in the field expedition? You see there's some bone bed cards here. Well, first off, there's a new reshuffle, a sponsored expedition. So when you draw this, you immediately add each of those fossil types to the museum, and then you could either choose to do the card action or to take three cubes of the same color. So you could take three Cretaceous, for instance. And then you will shuffle the field expedition deck when you're done. So this gets out more fossil cube, more fossils. So here's what's different about the beds. So you draw this, you still roll one die, and then you get a bed card and of the matching color. So when you do another field expedition action, instead of taking cards, you can play this card, you'll get six Cretaceous fossils and two victory points at the end of the game. So you would, what would happen is you send your paleontologist here or your field assistant and instead of taking two cards here and your unplayed card cards, you play your Cretaceous bone bed and then you have it for two victory points at the end of the game and then you take six fossil cubes. So you'll see that there are some other variants here. That's how you get the, the, the Jurassic Triassic. bone bed, the Triassic. Now here you get two dr Triassic Cubes. Uh, fossils yeah. and a bone bed as well. So just keep in mind that the bone bed is nice, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to take another action later on to play it. Okay, let me shuffle these up. All right. Uh, so that's what's new about that. Oh, uh -oh. almost put that in there. <laughs> now we got to go over what's new with the milestones. Two new milestones mm -hmm. are included as well. Let me shuffle this a little bit. And we better. have to go over these too. Yeah, then the focus boards we gotta go over. Okay. A lot of fun things. So here's one new milestone. If you choose this one, it now costs one less to publish a holotype where you have to share research. So in other words, if I have, if you remember the base game, if I have three Cretaceous, Cretaceous theropods, I can publish it for free. But if I have one and Julie has two of those, that means I have to spend research cubes to use her research. It would cost five. But with this milestone, it would only cost me four. It cost me one less research to publish when that objective is met. Now here's the other milestone. Usually you're gonna have to come back to the publishing journal action here you go here, you publish a holotype, okay? Then you'd have to come back 
when a global objective is met, to claim a global objective to get points. Here, when you publish a holotype, you can also claim a global objective. So that kind of saves you around if you have enough research cubes, right. if, if you have to share research. Uh, what else is different? Okay, mm -hmm. now it's the focus boards. Yeah. Now there's two ways to deal these out. You can deal out one randomly to a player and they choose either side or whoever is the first player chooses last. You, in other words, I'm the, I'll get to choose amongst these six first and then Julie will get to choose what's left because she's first player. Just to save time, it's we're just, just, just going to do a random one yeah. and then we're going to choose which side that we want to play. That works. Okay. Thank you. Now, how do these boards work? So you can, I can choose the other side here. And this is why this is a prototype copy here. These, these are a little, I don't know if this is what's going to be in the final production version or not. But you'll keep track as you complete things. So this means here that I have to have five Triassic fossils in my fossil storage and I can claim this. And you can claim this at any time on your turn. And you can claim multiple of these as long as the condition is met. Now, once you've met the condition, I don't have to always have five fossils. Once I met it, I cover it up. So if I get five fossils and then also do a uh, complete a global objective, see how this line goes here? Then I get two cards, two specimen cards, and then I discard two. You get this immediately. And then here, if I go from here to here and I get three, I think that's... Her herb her, uh, herbivores? Yeah, there is a chart here. I think that's herbivores. Yeah. So if I publish three herbivore holotypes, so it has a nice little key here. That's good. So you notice there's a new dinosaur right here in the game. A and then a pet. There are some new dinosaurs. I don't even want to try to pronounce them right no, now. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the point is, you got. If I get, and I don't. You don't have to complete them in order. I can complete this one. I complete this one. It's when you connect them, okay? Yeah. So, but if I connect it across, then at the end of the game, I'm going to get six victory points. So they do. I do have to complete them by the end of the game if I want to get these. And these are immediate rewards. So if I do three herbivores and I have th seven Cretaceous fossils, then I get five Cretaceous fossils. And then here, I can take any two cards from the, the specimen discard pile if I get eight research cubes. And then here, this is what our starting is. I'm going to start with a Triassic fossil and two research cubes if I take this board. On the other side, you see I have to get certain dinosaurs out. Here I will have an additional victory point for every trace fossil I have. Here you'll get a free trace fossil, and this is what I'd start with. I really don't want to worry about getting different dinosaurs. I'm going to do this one. This one seems easier. It may not be as rewarding as the other side, but I'm going to take this side. And then Julie's going to show, I'm going to show Julie's in a moment. I'm going to so take, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. So I put this here, and, and then I'm going to get my rewards. Okay, so let's see what Julie has. I'm going to take this side. So Julie is going to take this side. Yep. Which means she's going to have to get out a dinosaur of that type, dinosaur of that type, this type, and that type. So she's going to have to keep track. But she'll get a, if she's able to do this, she's going to get a free milestone here. Mm -hmm. Here she can take any two fossils she wants. she get additional six victory points. And... Uh, it's a theropod. It's a theropod of mm -hmm. that type. Any theropod. Any theropod. Of any age. So that's yep. pretty good. So she can get a lot of victory points if she can get out a lot of theropods. Exactly. And by the way, I forgot to mention this. And she can now, she'll get her graduate assistant after two holotypes instead of three. So she's not going to get a reward now, but she'll get her graduate assistant out sooner. Yes. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can, we're supposed to get our specimen cards and our personal objectives before we pick our um. side. So Julie may change her mind after she sees what she, what, what she gets. So right now we're going to get our three random specimen okay. cards. Thank you, sir. Okay. And then we're going to get our two random personal objectives. So it's just like the base game. And then Julie 
may change her mind based on what she sees. So I'll show you the cards I have. So, that's, so I have to really, I got to look at the date for that. Interesting. 1800s. I'm going to go for this one here because that goes with my board because I want to get herbivores out. So I'm going to do now this is hidden information, but we're playing open. So we're not going to use that uh, that personal objective. I'm discarding. This is what I'm starting out with. And I do have some carnivores and one herbivore, but I still want to go with herbivores because of this board. Now look, I could have did this side instead, but and I could try to match up the theropods I have here. Oh, and go for theropods. No, I'm just going to go for. I just it's easier to collect cubes. Now Julie. This is what I went for. Julie went for this one. Two theropods, two sauropods, two genosaur holotypes. If you get all that done, it's 18 victory points. So here's the deal, Julie. If you don't meet that, you get zero. I'm oh, sorry, but I already have one sauropod and one theropod. So okay. that's why I went. So that's why Julie's going to go I with that. I decided to go with that. Okay. So uh, setup-wise, we set up the museum already. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my starting stuff. So now we are ready to play. All right. And oh, wait, you, you left your player. little man on there. Yeah, I did. It's cheater pants. So we're not going to go over the base game rules. We just wanted to go over what's different for the expansion. I'm going to Field Expedition. And who did you put there? I put my um, uh, paleontologist there. So you get two cards to choose from. And I am actually going to choose this green card. Okay. She's choosing green. So you don't want the trace fossil? Well, I do need it for that. But I need green so if I go to, more than blue. So no. So if you want to see what Julie's thinking of choosing here. I'm not going to choose that one because I don't need blue right now. That's I need green. Choosing. So I'm going to change, get this green okay. with this. Do you want to have the sticky note there? Yeah. I'm okay. going to get a green die with my bone my Cretaceous bone bed. Okay, so what she's you still get to roll green. Go yep. ahead. Here's my card I'm not taking. Ooh, All right, I get so to go to the museum. You get one from the museum. All right, so here's your bone bed card. So Julie's going to have to take another field expedition action to use this card. Yes. But if she does... I'll get six green, she'll which get, would be perfect. She'll get six uh, Cretaceous fossils yep. and two victory points. So go ahead and add that to your hand. All right, my turn. Actually, I'll put it right here. Okay. Oh, here. Put. That's fine, honey. We have too many dice. Oh, no, we didn't. I'm like, oh, no, we have too many. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got to take a look here at the. I'm going to go. I already started out with research. Yeah. And get this guy out. Well, I'm going to bump you. Of course you are. That's all right. What do you mean to get your guy back? That's I know. good. It is a good thing for me. Okay, so I'm gonna get two cards. Oh, I see. I wanted all that green. I'll go for the blue. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, do, you the, need I'm it gonna do the blue because I can at least try to get this guy out. But then, why well, have two blue like that? <laughs> okay. Nice, honey. Look at all so that. Eight. I get eight. Now, one rule to keep in mind that we forgot until I reread the rule again, <laughs> is that any excess you don't use goes to the museum. And so look what's going to happen here. I could get rid of my Triassic fossil. But I'm not going to. So we have an additional blue there. All right. Okay. What well, are you doing? Well, I'm going to go back here, pump you, and let's see if I can get some green. Why don't you just put it on the board? That's what I'm doing, honey. Darn it, it's all blue. What the deuce? Now, if you don't remember this action here, this says that you're going to roll three dice and you can re-roll one of the dice if you want. All right, I'm going to go with the blue. So I'll get my trace. Okay, you get a trace fossil. Let me show the trace fossil on camera here. It's an amber. So, okay. I was just trying them to see it. 
it's a two amber, so two she'd amber. have to add in two more fossils when she publishes a holotype. Okay, so that's your trace fossil. Now you get to roll Don't two Don't I get blue. this too? No. You would have had to have chosen this. Because you're choosing these cards, Yeah. you're not doing the bone bed. Oh, you could okay. do the bone bed instead and not take the cards, but then you're not going to get the trace fossil. I'm not going to get the trace. No, I'll do this. In fact, because you took the trace fossil, you're committed to this. Though. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to... Don't want to take anything back. All right, here we go. Two. Two. By the way, if we do make any mistakes... Please let please, us know. Yeah, please let us know and check the comments below. That's where I will post up if there's any uh, things that we do not get correct. Your turn, hon. Well, I'm going to publish. Well, you should. You have a lot of blue over there. My field assistant oh, can't here. publish. Oh, here. Take that off. I'll go here. Nice. I will publish because I need herbivores. So I'm going to go this one. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough research, so I'm oh, not publishing. Oh, darn it. I'll do my field assistant. Okay. Get two. Your turn. All right. Well, I In case anybody wonders why I couldn't do that. Publish anything. I had enough blue fossils, but I don't have enough research. I only had two research cubes. That's the white. So there you go. All right. I'm going to boot you your little... Assistant, and I'm going to get my assistant there and get to research. And now I will publish. There you go. Okay. Now I can do this. Nice. Three. Four. Okay, so we got to remember to do this in order. Okay, first off, it's a genosaur. And it's from the Jurassic. There's one right there. All right, so this is met now. So we're going to show that this is met. Okay. On a die here. So that's done. That's how we keep track with dice. So that way... It's just so much easier. Because that way we're not asking each other, hey, mm -hmm. do you have this or that? Okay. We move this up one. Yep. It's important to do that. Very because important. that's how we reset the museum or we get milestones. So we've done that. We move this. And then I now check, okay, it's a herbivore and a gen genosaur. I need two more herbivores, and I can claim claim that, but I'm done. Nice. Okay, I'm taking back my two friends. So then you I'm get... I'm getting a research. Is it one or two research? One. One, okay. Does it say that anywhere? I just remember it being one. Okay. I think it is just one. It is just one. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do, honeybug? I want to get more research. Okay. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to try and get more, see if I can get any green. By, I'm going to do this, my Cretaceous bone bed. So I'm going to get six green yep. right now. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put this blue one in there because I don't need it. Six. All right, now I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, sweetheart. Okay. I had put the extra blue in here that I took off to have room for my green. Okay, you're going for more green than you are for... Well, I needed to. Yeah, there you are. And I'm going to put this up here. All right, I'm recalling. Okay. And, and I get a research. I'm going to come here and get two more research. All right, love, what are you going to do? I can publish again. Right. Which I will. I'm going to publish because I want to get my graduate. Even though it's a carnivore mm -hmm. and a dinosaur type I don't need, it's still worth points. So I'm publishing that. It's four. Nice. And three. Okay. And what is it? It is a theropod. Oh, uh, here's a theropod right here. Yeah, it's any type. Any type. Yeah. So that's going to go up one. And that's a Cretaceous theropod. Is that what you did, honey? Yeah, let me move this over a little bit more. Okay. Did I do a Cretaceous? I didn't do a Cretaceous. No, it was a Jurassic. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. That way you can see it on camera that we have one of the five needed. That's how we keep track. Uh, now, I could complete this. Oh, no, I can't. If I had this milestone, I could have completed this global objective, which instead of publishing, 
I can do that global objective right now. But because Julie, so Julie can do that instead if she wants to spend those five research cubes and bump me. I decided instead to do the publishing. Maybe I should, hang on please, maybe oh. I should do uh, finish the global objective before you. But no, okay, so we, we move this up. So that's our second holotype publish. Your turn. I have to bring my friends back. Uh, because I want to finish that global objective, I don't have my grad graduate assistant can't bump a paleontologist, so I'm recalling and getting one research. Your turn. So I'm going to beat David to that. And so I'm you gonna are going to do it. Yep. Oh, darn it. And I have to pay how many? Uh, it's going to cost you five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So then you put your guy there. Yep. Your, so that one's completed. I should have done it instead of publishing my... Because I can publish my holotype any time. So that might be a mistake that's going to cost me. We'll see. But if I get my graduate assistant out sooner, we'll see if that... Yeah, matters. exactly. Okay. I'm going to go here and get two cards. Okay. And discard one. All right. And there are... I don't want carnivores. No, you don't. But that one's worth 11. 11 points. I'd keep that one. Now, I could discard this one instead. Ah. I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to come here and get two more research. Okay, I need fossil cubes. Okay. I didn't I, give you purple. <laughs> next time I have to go to the museum. There's only one in there. I know. Well, yeah, it's pretty lame. That is. I guess I'll get a Jurassic bone bed. Okay. So I get that. Nice. And I will roll one die. Wow, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Go ahead. I'm taking my friends back, getting one research. That's pretty funny. You said friends. I know. Uh, hang Ross, on a second. Ross. Ross was a paleontologist. paleontologist he right. was. Okay. I recall. And it goes off in my head all the time. Your turn. All right. I'm going to publish. What are you publishing? I'm going to publish this theropod because I need a green theropod. So I'm doing three green. Three research, so I put that over here. Three and three. And do you want to do a trace fossil? Let's put this here that shows that it's done. Ah, uh, yeah, because I need three for that. Yeah, I should do that. What are you doing? It's a green. You got to use green fossils. Oh, but I need green for that. Yeah, that? I'll just do it. Okay, well, how much did you get put in? Two. Two. Okay, so Julie has to put in two, so this is worth additional four points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are published. Okay, well, it's published. So let's first do up here. Yes. It's a theropod in the Cretaceous. So this goes up one. Yep. Okay, so we have one there mm -hmm. out of three. And, uh, and that's a theropod there, so this goes up to a two. Yep. And did you do an amber? I did one amber. You did a two. Yeah, so this is ready. So maybe you can get it. Uh, I have to spend five to do it. Well, maybe you will. So that's ready to go. And uh, then on my board, as you can see, I need two green theropods. I only have one, so I still need one more, and then I can cover that up. Okay, so now we move this. We yep. get a milestone. All right, I already know what I'm going to get. Hmm. I'll do this. I picked mine. I'm going to do my publishing. I did minus one publishing, too. So we both did that. All right, you're done. I am done. Okay, I'm going here. Oh, I did this already. I have to... How do well, I that, hide it? Then it goes here. Okay. There you go. Thank you. So I don't want you to. Right, I don't turn. want to forget that I didn't do it already. I'm bumping you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna beat you to this global objective. Go ahead. Which is a shame. I could have done that global, but at least I made you spend five. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm gonna make you spend five. I'm only spending four. Oh, because still, of the I'm minus still making one. you spend them all. 
Okay, so this has been published. And put my cube here in my marker. Okay, your turn. Nice job, hun. Um, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a field expedition. That's Purple what I need. And green, and I need green. And I need purple. But this is worth eight, and it's a marine. This is a seropod who I don't need. Oh, except I need it for here. Decisions, decisions. I think I will go for my green. Yeah, roll three dice. I will. Okay, you take one from the museum. Two for that, and... You're done. Two for that. So yeah, you should have five. I oh. do. Thank you for double checking me. I appreciate it. Yeah, because Helps you're, me. you're splitting up your actions. There. I know. I appreciate <laughs> you watching over me there. You, so you only have one holotype. You get a second one, you get your graduate student. Yes. All right. I cannot bump you with a field. No, you cannot. But I will go here. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. I got to recall. Go. I'm recalling as well, sweetie. I'm going here. All right, love. Get your purple. Aww. Blue again. I don't need blue. Aww. Well, I guess I'll do this one. At least I get some research cubes. I'll get two research cubes and two blue. I get one and then one. Nice. Okay. Your turn. All right, I'm going to go here and publish. I'm going to publish this guy with three green, two research, and I'm going to put these here so I know that I did it. All right. All right, let's go, on a, let's go one thing at a time. Here. Yes. This is a sauropod. Yes, we do have a sauropod here. Okay. That's a one. Do we have any of the Cretaceous sauropods? No. No. Okay, hang on, let me okay, go up one right here. There. And, and then, then you get your graduate student. I get my now. graduate student. Because why I did Julie get it? Published two. Because you published two in, in her special board here. Did, yep. you, did you complete any of these? I'm looking. I have no, but I'm closer to getting that completed. So. Okay. In fact, what I'm going to do, sweetie, so I don't get confused, I'm going to put it like that because yeah, I don't need to worry about it? that. All right, honey, it's your turn. All right, well, my field, I'm just going to do an exchange. We will exchange two blue for a purple. Nice. And I'm done. All right, I'm going to come here. I'm going to get three cards. Yeah, because you got your graduate student. Yes, I do. All right. This is good, good, good. I can only keep one, though, right? You keep... You, uh, you must discard one. Must discard one. So, in other words, here's your hand, okay? You take them all into your hand. You can even discard this one if you want. Well, you know what? I think I might do that because I don't need any marine. Nope. Okay. There we go. I'm good. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Speak and spell. Speak and spell? You don't remember that from no. uh, Toy Story? You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, I got a recall. Like total recall? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come down here and get two more research. All right, sweetheart. It's all I, you. I'm publishing. I'm bumping it because I need to get my graduate student. So I am publishing this Triassic. Okay. That is three and two. And uh, so, do we have any Triassic here? Uh, I no. don't think so, honey. So it doesn't help complete the global objective. Darn. Doesn't even help me on my objectives. Oh darn it! Well, I need herbivores. So. That's true. You do. I didn't. Oh, I did publish. Forgot to mark that. I got to keep track of when I got a bunch of cubes. I'm forgetting to do that. Uh, so we publish here. We reset the museum. Okay. And I got my graduate student now. Yay! Yeah, so we check here. I checked here. Did that. Yep. Okay, your turn. All right.
right, sweetie pie. Well, I'm going to bump your cute little self. I'm going to publish this guy. So I'm doing two green, two research, and he is a Cretaceous Genosaur. So we have Cretaceous Genosaur right there. So oh, I did Cretaceous one of them. Is... Yep. Okay, so there's one out of two that is needed. There's another one there I just did. Okay, hang on. Well, there's, we need three more. Oh, yeah, I thought that was out with that. Okay, it doesn't matter. And then that's it. Now, on yeah. my thing here, it matches. I nearly needed one. I got my one, so I'm going to cover that up. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, because if you can get these other two here, you're going to get six more victory points in the, the game. I'm just so excited. My turn. I need different dinosaurs. I'm going, I'm bumping your graduate assistant. That's fine, honey. I get three. I need herbivores. I got one herbivore. And I might as well keep this 13. This is worth 13 points. Okay, I'm done. You're done? Okay, sweetheart. I'm going to come over here to the field. I don't need Well, you purple. know what, honey? I'm going to take oh, that back. Oh, I'm sorry, That sweetie. 13. Let me go back. No, you're fine. The reason why is because yeah. I got this Jurassic bone bed. Oh, okay. And I can get some fossils for it. Okay. Right. Oh, I got purple. I don't want purple. Yeah, well, that's what it. I wanted earlier. Okay, which one are you doing? You I'm need a trace need the fossil. trace fossil. Okay, so here's your trace fossil. Oh, look. Poop. Corporalite. It's dinosaur poop. And two purple dice. I get one and one from the... Okay. Okay. My turn. I need to go get fossils. All right, you go get fossils. I bump you. Yes, you do bump me. Get your your graduate student out of there. <laughs> okay, so I get two cards. Now I'm getting purple, and I want it green. That's the way it goes. Well, at least I can trade them here at the museum. I guess I'm going to do this one here. Okay. Well, no, but then I get two. For sure, or that I'm gonna take a chance. All right. I'll get a, a trace fossil, and I roll two dice. I got two. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna come down here. I'm what gonna trade trading? in a purple. Yeah. And it. Three green. Three green. That's what I was gonna do. Well, I need it more than you do. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You can bump me, you know. Oh, no, you can't. You gotta take your friends back. I'll bump you here. It's fine. Go ahead. I'm gonna bump you. Okay, I'm recalling. Okay, I'm doing my graduate student. Good, some green. There you go. I'm going to get, I will take the three dice. Okay. I, I want them now. I want it now. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm going to get a seven. lot. Now, here's the deal about that. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get rid of something. Oh, uh, how much? A purple. Now, why would I do that? Why would I get rid of these better fossils? Because I need to have seven. I thought they go in here. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Good job. Because I want to complete this. Where's the blue? Where's that blue from? Oh. I had to get rid of a blue and a purple. Okay. But the reason why I took all seven is because I want to complete this focus. Oh, very good, honey. All right. Your that turn. was a smart thing to do. All right. I am going to come publish. I'm going to publish this guy. So, I've got my three green that I took from David for research. Okay, so let's go in over here. Yep, I'm going to put this away now. That's a crisis theropod, so this goes up to two. We need one more there. Okay. Any up? Right there. 
Okay, is any type of theropod. Exactly. So you need two more there. I'm going to move that up. Uh, okay, so we're going to get another milestone. So let's get our milestones. I'm going to do okay, storage. Right. I'm going to do... I'm doing storage. I'm going to do library. Okay. And then on top of that, I now have my two green theropods. I get to cover that, which means I get another, another thing. So then I'll just do, ooh, I think I'll do storage. Do storage? Okay. And I've completed that. I just need to get a purple theropod. And did okay. I do my, my seropod genosaur? Oh, no, I already did that one. I need a blue one, Jurassic one. Okay. okay. That's why I'm surprised you took that objective. you got a lot of stuff to keep track of. Hey, you know what? I mean, you're doing good. This is good for my brain. I know, but I'm, I'm surprised. All right, so now I'm going to go publish. I'm going to do this. Oh, believe me, I'll be really tired after this game. <laughs> yeah, because you got a lot to keep track of. Yes. Okay, so it's a genosaur. And, okay, so here's this one. Nice. To two, so that can be done now. Any other dinosaurs? Yep, right um, here. That's yeah. a two. Uh, this goes up one. Okay. Do I did I finish anything here? I don't have three herbivores yet. You're getting there, though, sweetie. You're getting there. Okay. I think I'm done. If hey, I is it too late for me to do this with that? What? I forgot about my trace fossil. Was it too late if for me to do it? If you want to do it, I don't care. All right, I'm throwing this So you're green. throwing in two more green. Yeah. So Julie got a, uh, another trace fossil done. So that way you can complete your focus. Yeah. So that was from the previous one. Do you have two trace fossils done? Yeah, I you do. do. Yeah, There's you got my other one. Okay. There you go. Good job. Thank you. All right, now it's your turn. Even though I went back in time and cheated. I know I didn't mean no, to I'm cheat. I'm just joking. I'm I don't care. <laughs> well, it made me feel bad. If it was five turns ago, that'd be different. Right, I'm going to come here and I'm going to get three. I get four, actually. All right, sweetie pie. My turn. Let's make sure we got their count here. I have one, two, three, four. How many dinosaurs? One, two, do you three, have? four. And you sure? One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right, so we're off by one. It's actually eight. Sometimes we forget to move this up, so that's why we double check at times. You have four, and okay, so that's eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. What am I doing? Uh, oh, well, I should have did this trace fossil too. Yeah, you do it. Okay. Hey, if I got to do it, you get to do it. Yeah, it's I just, only fair. There we go. Yeah, that's only fair. All right, now what do I want to do? I, don't I need know. more herbivores. I'll go here and take a chance. Okay, good luck. Get two. All right, I got this uh, one. Two, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yay! Now, which, do I want to keep this one or this one? A three and a two? Yeah, I'm going to go for the one that's not as hard to get. I would do the same thing. <laughs> All right, your turn. All right, my love. Uh, I need to get more dinosaurs, too. So, I'm going to put my big guy here and get three cards. I don't need that. I don't need that. And, of course, nothing I need. Well, that really stinks. But the more theropods I get, the more of those. So, I'll keep that. I'll go for that one. All right. I discarded. Wait, it's supposed to get four cards, right? Two, three. You take three cards. Did you take? Th yeah, I took three. One, two, one. three, and I discarded that one. Okay. All right, I'm recalling. Mm. Your turn. I come here and get one. Ah, oh, nice. Just what I needed. Only getting one, huh? Whoo! Wow, that's seven. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, so this is what I would do. 
I switched this out. It doesn't matter what board it's on. Oh, okay. Because you're going to forget that you have stuff down there. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Okay, my turn. Okay, I'm going to publish. Okay, love. Two and two. Okay, we are going to get a milestone. Mm -hmm. Well, let me look at Cretaceous. Cretaceous sauropod. Uh, right here. Yeah. Is that at a two? Mm -hmm. There are no other sauropods. Okay. Uh, I moved it up there, so pick out your milestone. I did uh, get my I did get my third herbivore. Nice. So now I get instantly I get five Cretaceous fossils. I got me to publishing. Okay. I picked mine, honey. I gotta pick mine. I will do Plus library. I'm bringing all my friends back. Okay. I'm going here to the library and getting three. Okay. So I get plus one of the library. I'm going here. You're bumping me. And I'm going to publish this one. So it's two. No. Two, four, five. Yes, okay. And there you go. Two of those. So this goes up to 10. I gotta reset the museum. Okay, and we don't have anything for this guy. There's nothing tra no. Triass tri okay. Triassic. Triassic, that's the word, Triassic. Now here, I'm gonna help you even though you're forgetting. Do you have two Cretaceous? Uh, well, no, you don't have the, you do have the publish. Right here, you have the publish right here yep. when you do. In other words, you can complete a global objective when you publish a holotype. But I don't have... You don't have enough research. No. Mm -hmm. However, you don't have to pay research if you have two Cretaceous genosaurs, do you? Two Cretaceous genosaurs? I only have one no, genosaur. You, okay, I have one of them and you have one of them. Yeah. So that means you have to. You don't have enough research to do it. No, but thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Well, I, wanted to, I didn't want to win because you forgot. Uh, okay, because that can make a difference in the game here. So for me, I'm bumping you, okay. and I'm going to do it. Good job. It cost me one less okay. to meet that global objective. So I do it here. Because you have one, and I have one. So that's been finished. Yay. Okay, your turn. All right. Um, what does this mean to get the difference between the people? Well, when you put a field assistant here, you can only choose one of these. You either exchange. Mm -hmm. Or you exchange cubes for research. Oh. Here you can do both. You can exchange cubes in the museum, you mm -hmm. know, fossil museum, and also get research. Oh. Well, I just need to exchange. Yeah, so just use your field assistant. That's what I'm getting. Here he is. So I'm going to trade in one, one purple. purple for, th for three? Uh, or do you need two, need two blue. blue? You can get two blue. I do two blue. There you go. That's your yeah. inventory right there. You got yeah. a lot of Triassic fossils. I know. It's not what I want. Well. But I'm waiting for my Triassic um, theropod to come up. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go here and get three specimen cards. I need more herbivores. You're probably taking what I need. There you go. Here's my herbivores. Yay. And I'm getting rid of this one. Don't, for, don't forget, Julie, you can take the top card from the discard pile. I don't need him, though. I need the seropod that you took. Good. You're not going to get them now. Well, you know what? You are not nice. Just for that, I'm going to come here, bump your little sorry butt. Yeah. I don't care about my field assistant. Okay. Now, what am I? I have a lot of green, and I need to get per, I need to get a lot of research if I'm going to try to meet this condition. So I'm going to do here. Oh, I can't bump you. I'm recalling. Go. Okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to publish this guy. My little theropod. Two blue. Oh, hey, Count, I, we might have forgot to move this thing up. 
One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. That's 10. We're right at 10. Okay, so now it's going to 11. Yeah. Okay. So just publish this You know, it's one more louder. I know. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing, do you? Theropod in the Jurassic. Well, here we, this goes here. Yeah. Any theropod type. And that's it. Yeah. Did you meet anything on your board? On no. your focus board? No, but I am here. But I get one for every theropod. So. Yeah, so that's good at the end of the game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you done? Yep. You don't know what that, it, it's one louder, is from, do you? Oh, I know I've heard it. Uh, I need, okay. Spinal tap. Yes. I'm going to go here. Do my bone bed. Okay. I get three. Okay. Taking back all my friends. Any more research? Okay, I have the graduate assistant. Go here, gets plus one, so it gives me four. Your turn. Okay, I'm going here and get three cards. Oh, there's my seropod. There's my other seropod. Oh, I've been missing you. And that's a wrong color dinosaur. Tug on it. All right, bring you my seropod. It's this card one. It could be one from your hand. Remember that. Yeah, I know. Um, I need a blue one of those, so I'll just discard that one. All right, Honeybug. Okay, I'm bumping myself. Okay, now I completed another uh, focus. I needed eight research. Awesome, possum. So I covered up here. Now I get any two from the discard pile, but here's the problem. Yep. If I have too many stuff left at the end of the game, that could be a problem. Right. I'll take this. Now, do I have to? I'm pretty sure it says that you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Let's make sure. Again, this is uh, prototype rules. That's why it's not bound. You may place a time. There's no limit to the number of focus skills being completed. Cannot be completed again. Take any two specimen cards from your choice from the, and add them to your hand. If you can choose to complete part of it or not, I don't remember seeing it. See here. So you can wait to complete a focus, to place a focus token. Okay. So I assume I have to take it. I'll take something that's easier to finish that won't cause me to lose too many points. So I'll just take this one. I have too many cards. I know that. Wow. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm coming here. I'm going to get rid of a purple. You get three green? Yep. Okay. I need to get four or five purple at some point. Okay, I'm going to publish. I'm going to do this one here. Two and two. This goes up one. We're going to get another milestone here. It is a genosaur in the Cretaceous. That's right here. If I had that milestone, well, here's the deal. I get the milestone right now. So if I take this one, I can finish, I can do it, which I will. So I'm getting that milestone, okay. and then I'm going to complete that one. Okay. Now, do I have three already of my own? I don't think I do. No. You have one of those, don't you? 
Yep. So I have to spend four to finish it. Nice job. Well, that's one reason to have that. Now, did you get your milestone? Uh, I'm picking. I don't know what I want. I guess I'll do expeditions. Plus one card. It's gonna. No, use a card. I'm gonna do specimen. You need more specimens. The game is about ready to end. I don't know. Oh, okay, plus one. Yeah, that's. We get more fossils. Doesn't hurt you. That's a good one. Okay, your turn. All right. I'm gonna come here and bump your your dude. Yeah, you want to say something else? Bump your butt. <laughs> All right, I'm doing my seropod. Okay, this goes up one. Cretaceous seropod, right there. Oh, it's a three now. You can, uh, do you have three Cretaceous seropods? Nope, that was only my second Cretaceous seropod. Let me see if I have one. Yeah, I do. So here's the thing. If you want to spend... I have no research. You don't have enough research nope. to do it. So, so this is ready to be finished. And that's it. Okay, and we're at, let's count our dinosaurs and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, we're at 13. All right, my turn. I, if I'm going to finish this, I need to do that now. I'll bump myself. I need to get purple. And, of course, no purple. And I need blue, though. I'll, I'll re-roll this one. Six. Three. Six. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to put some in the museum, it looks like. That belongs in the museum. You have one in, in your specimen refill. Yeah. All right, one goes in there. All right. Now, I could put a green in there instead. It's up to which you. Which I will. I'll do green instead. Okay, it's your turn again. I need to publish here before we run out of time. Get rid of some of these. So I need herbivores. Okay, I don't have enough research for that one. So you know, I'll get. To, oh, I can't bump myself, and I can't publish. So I recall. We get one. You taking more cards? Huh? I need. This is what I needed. To get to complete your objective, isn't it? Yes. So I'm going to keep that, and I get to discard that. Okay. I will go here. Cretaceous sauropod. Do I have enough Cretaceous sauropods? No. That's the one that you're probably going to beat me to. But I go here, my grad student, and I'm going to do this guy. Four and four. Goes up one. Do we have any sauropods here that need to be... Um, promoted? No. no. Okay. You sure we don't have three Cretaceous? Three Cretaceous what, baby? I guess we don't. We've been doing a lot of genosaurs. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, I moved it up. I have no trace fossils. I can't publish that, so I'm done. Don't want purple, want blue or green. Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna take two blue. And can you reach me a Jurassic, a Jurassic bone bed, please? Okay. Thank you. There you go, add it to your... Do I get it right now? Yeah. I get four... No, you gotta do an action later to get that. To oh, okay. It, and get the victory points. We haven't had the uh, reshuffle card yet. But I bet we're gonna get it now, because I gotta go there. Oh, you know what, no, I'm not... I'm gonna publish. All right. No, I need to get research. See, I can't decide what I'm doing, sweetie. I know, baby. I go here, I get three. It's a plus one for the library. You did? Yeah. Publish that. Oh, shoot, I can't. Put your guy back. I'm gonna have to come down here and bump this guy instead. Okay. 
Sorry about that. All right, about myself. My paleontology bumps my graduate student. Okay, two, three. Can we reset the library? I should have went there maybe and got that stuff. Uh, and do we have a sauropods that we need to move up? No. Oh, uh, no. Okay. And I'm done. Three more published. The game ends. Well, I'm going to bring my friends back. I'm going here. I need purple. Yes. You got it. Because I want to complete this other focus. You got it. That's two, four. four. And now I have five. So I complete this focus right away. And I can claim two cards and then get rid of two. So let's see if I can get some. I don't want those. Jeez. But that's 11 points versus 9 points. But then I'm going to lose four points for research if I don't get rid of it. Right. I'll get rid of this one. Not very helpful. I want a herbivores. Because that was the immediate bonus. Can my graduate student bump your paleontologist? No. So if they blue. So it goes up one. Two. And it is a genosaur. I get to complete that, which gives me two blue and two white. What did you complete? What do you mean? I completed it's oh. a Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And so I, you, you haven't gotten a Triassic? Nope. So, wow. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, let's go and to how the do pile. I get this again? You gotta take an action here. Alright. So for me, I will bump you. It's fine. Oh, I can't. Go back. Put him back, please. I need to get Research. Go ahead. Two more holotypes away until the game ends. I know. You're exchanging, huh? You get three? Okay. Okay, I recall. Go ahead. You get two. No, I get four. Oh, yeah, you're right. My mistake. I'm going to bump you here. And I'm going to publish. I'm going to not publish, but I'm going to complete a global objective. And it cost me five. Nice. I know we don't. I know I don't have three sauropods. No, it cost me four. I get one back because of my bonus. But it's a Cretaceous sauropods. Yeah, I I only have only one of them. You're the one that's got them all. Here's a card you needed. Yeah. It's your turn. another one and I also get that okay so here's the deal do you have a you do have enough you do have enough research one, two, to finish three, it. I have three theropods yeah but it doesn't matter it would have mattered but you need five of your own but the thing is if you want to put in four right now yeah I do you can finish it oh I'll get 11 points now that's awesome awesome let me see which one that is. Is it a Cretaceous theropod? 
So th yes. So it's right here. This is ready now. There, you can go get it. I don't have no research. Well, I don't either, so. And we didn't get any eggs as a trace. Nope. I need research. I'll bump a graduate student. I get four. Now, if I end the game here, I'm going to lose points. And it's an equal number of turns. You're still going to have another turn. <sighs> do I do it? This is the one that's going to make me um, lose four points. Unless I go here to get rid of cards. Oh, there you go. I can get rid of two cards if I go there. That's what I would do. But then you might end the game. Yeah, but so, you'll get rid of two cards, though, and then you won't have to but worry then, about but here, it. But here's the problem. This is worth eight points. Oh. Okay. You can publish. I don't, I'm not supposed to know what this is, but you have enough to publish something, and you can end the game. And, oh. And I won't. Your first player. So, okay, I will have another. But then but, you'd have another turn anyway. Yeah, but the problem is I'm using my graduate student. Oh. And I'm using my paleontologist. I won't be able to use my field assistant to publish. So the risk is well, no, I can end it right now because it's the first player token. You don't get another turn. So right. I'm going to do it. There you go. Yeah. Good job. I'm going to do this one. Okay. Nice. Three. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else to look at because I can't, I don't have enough research anyways. Right. Three Cretaceous seropods. I doubt I have that. I have all genosaurs. It's interesting about this European deck. You don't see, you see a lot of different dinosaurs because of the area. Sweet. Okay, well that's it. Because it's equal number of turns, you don't get another turn. Well, how do I do with this card? Well, you're going to lose two points. Okay. I'm losing four points, unfortunately. It is what it is. All right, so now we're going to go through counting victory points here. Uh, where do I have a, a pen? Do you have your phone? Nope. I do, but yeah. I can't reach it. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so I have this right here. Oh, perfect. Let's just do our... Oh, I didn't get this, so I don't want to make sure I mess up. Right. So right away, Julie and David, I am minus four points. I'm minus two. Okay, so we've counted those. Let's look at our focus board Just first. Sorry. I get one per global objective. One, two, three, four, plus this, six, that's ten. You have... One Six per. plus one per theropod of any type. One, two, three, four, four theropods. So four. So you got ten as well. So right now you're beating me because you're only minus. Ah. Uh, it's six versus. But eight. it's not going to stay that way very long. Uh, we'll see here. Okay, global objectives. I have twenty-six. I have eleven. Told you, it's not going to stay that way very long. <laughs> well, that's going to be a major. That's, but see, you might have published better dinosaurs. Now, global object. I mean, you're. I made it eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, I think you're going to beat me here because I didn't have that many herbivores. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, you did. Well, I got 18 too, so we're tied there. Nice. Okay. Uh, now we start counting our what stuff's worth. So 8, 15, 25, 30, 35, 42, 50. 58, 62, 64, 64 plus 9, 73. Want me to help you? Yeah. All right, okay. those are 10s, so that's well, hey, let's 30. Give me, let's give me the whole thing, please. All right, well, I grouped them the best I could. I'm just going to count kind them of all at the same time. Oh, yeah, it's too hard. Okay, 4, 9, 13, 19, 
It's very close. I think what's going to, I mean, what is a global objective? Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you would have you won. Okay, so 14, 17, 4, 5, 12, 12. Then I'll subtract 10, 3, 4, 11. She would have been 110 to 127, but I lose 423 to 108. If you would have matched me here, if you had would have had 26 I like I did, you would have beat me because you would have had an additional 13 points. So that's what killed you. That's all right. That kills me a lot all the time. No, you've won the, you've won the last two games. No, but it usually kills me. It's hard to remember everything, but I'm proud of myself. Well, I you had, had a great you had time. a hard objective here to do, and you did it. I did it. Well, that oh. is holotype Mesozoic Europe. Oh. You can see that uh, it adds uh, more variety with the focus boards. So yes. check out our review. We'll see you in the next video. Thank Thanks you so much for watching, guys. All right, bye bye. -bye.